all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to more hogwarts legacy you know i've, I've been doing a lot of little training and grinding um or do a little bit of grinding um see how my character looks a little bit different just to uh, show you exactly the quests i've done once i've completed just to give you a quick little i did all the cross wands did uh, a couple things offline went and bought some, some potions um, I'm just ready to get further in the story so let me find out how to change my customization on my clothes on my gear excuse me uh, so ended up getting the wand handle uh Oh, I know you can put the hood on. She was to put the hood on. Now we're gonna leave that on. I don't mind the hood. We're gonna leave that on just like that. So we headed to herbology class. Hopefully that gives me exactly what it is I've been wanting, which is how to make potions. I did gather some items in order to make healing potions. Because uh, after that, uh, after that cross one. After the cross wand battles, I kind of got uh, beside myself. And I'm using a Nintendo Wii controller, and it's reading my computer is reading it as a uh, as an Xbox controller. So the buttons are flipped. Like if I hold down right trigger, you see where the X and Y is. Those buttons are flipped. Y is where X is on my controller, and B is where A is on my controller. So it's kind of confusing when you're in the heat of like when you in the clutch you're thinking one thing you, know, you got to train your mind to understand that certain buttons are elsewhere but it's all good though off on another adventure are we Morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here, you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in Herbology is knowledge. The prudent Herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the Mandrake root. The Mandrake. Akio. The screaming man. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> right, the screaming man, Drake, of course. Now, everyone, grip the mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug.
should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. She knew what the hell she was doing. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to... Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like mock grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I'll say. Nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal, so remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fancy. Italy's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Magic seeds can be purchased. Purchase from Dog with a death cap. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your dissonance will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Yeah, whatever the hell it's all about. Revelio. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cat. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. What is like, what, bombs? <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Sure, but that's just a dummy. Trust me, Leander. 
I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're, uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we, uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Collecting all this. Eventually I'm gonna have to come back here because stuff that I don't know. Um, Student select nine. They require nutrients from a variety of sources. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I, I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. I think mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Cost me my damned hearing. To make anything grow, we must first. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Mm -mm. be auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor, I saw an aura on Professor Sharp's desk. I bet he knows what he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. What is that key? Oh, another thing. I unlocked uh, some chest. It's like a secret chest that you put tokens in. I'll have to check that out.
Oh, it's a gold trim. Okay, I see what it is. Potions class. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wiganweld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wiganweld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze a pinch, could be disastrous. A dash. Of course, you know you gotta whip it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure that 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 wrist game proper. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Anyway. Proficiency in potions are two things that- My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after- Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Why do you want to know? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Not sure that's a good idea. Fuck it, let's get in trouble. I'll get you the fupa feather. Let's get in as trouble. As long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. 
Remember. Outside of a shop, I was particularly in the wee hours of the night. Suspicious, suspicious deliveries made to the shop's back entrance, given that we know of the shop's reputation. We're adding more ores to join those that already have been watching the shop. We're amongst the new additions. Further instructions follow. Because I can't go to the store right now. Those blue leather gloves, well, at least they actually worth something. Your potion stations organized and free of clutter. Here's the whopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Should you chop the Dipney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Oh, we gotta wait. I thought they was gonna have us do the potions, adding it ourselves, and then whipping it up or something. the mallow sweet and that's odd what's happening wait it's not supposed to ah! Get it! Again, Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Yeah, I ain't seen shit. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know what you mean. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say, You've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. 
The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Wasn't expecting that literally to blow up in my face. It was rather brilliant, though. I'd better clean up. You should. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't good. too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. You got me in trouble. <laughs> it was nothing. Fuck it, let's blame him. Professor Sharp wasn't happy. Leave me out of your grand plans next time. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully he's already forgotten about it. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. All right. Anyway, a little more now. Let's... Um, I just gotta do this on my own. Got two of the keys already. So we gotta go talk to Natty. Oh, my robes are going to reek from Gary's inspiration for the rest of term. Is she in? I believe I gotta go all the way out here by foot. Hopefully we get our broomstick soon. A man wants to fly. Wait a minute. Come on. Levy on Wow. Knock the chicken all the way out. I should investigate. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. 
Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. We did not speak about it at the time, but I'm hoping you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something I found. Say. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But Being whatever nosy. the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. This could be dangerous. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Natty. Oh, Natty. Oh, no, wait, no. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? 